okay <clears throat> so dear brothers in christ uh, uh, as we all know that uh, we are living in the very last days so we are living uh, in our times uh, where we can see the signs of our lord's uh, return the sign of our lord's second coming very clearly and uh, many of the signs which has uh, mentioned about uh, is uh, regarding the second coming in matthew 24 chapter about wars floods earthquakes famine pestilences everything we can see that all these things uh, have been fulfilled uh, before our very eyes so before uh, you see uh, we could ever believe uh, or study about the lord second coming we all know very well that uh, before the lord second coming the great anti christ uh, should come i mean all know about the great anti christ uh, that it is a number that is very famous uh, the number called as uh, triple 6 uh, and regarding uh, anti christ uh, you see and regarding the lord second coming apostle paul also warns us uh, you see to first uh, see the anti christ the development of the anti christ first uh, that we need to understand anti christ and then only we should uh, believe about our lord's uh, second coming so let us read that verse in second thessalonians second chapter verses 1 to 4 uh, most of brother can you read okay brother now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our lord jesus christ and by our gathering together unto him that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from as that the day of christ is at hand let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come expect there come falling away first and the man of sin be revealed the son of prediction who ups and excels himself above that is called god he as god stands in the temple of god showing himself that he is god very good here apostle paul clearly warns us saying that uh, by the coming of our lord jesus christ and we gathering to him that uh, you be not soon shaken in mind be not troubled you see by spirit of a word or by letter if anybody tells that the day of christ is already come and what is the test that we need to do is that it tells before the day of the lord has to come there has to first be the falling away you see of the truth you see there has to be first uh, the man of sin be revealed first the man of sin has to be revealed then only the lord's uh, day the second coming will come now why did uh, apostle paul write uh, this second letter to the thessalonians if you see it then apostle paul in the uh, first thessalonians fourth chapter 16 and 17 verse He clearly tells that our Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout of an archangel, with a trump of God. You see, and He tells, uh, you see, that the dead in Christ shall rise first. So many began to believe. You know all those verses. That's why I'm not uh, reading the verses. So as soon as Apostle Paul wrote this letter of the First Thessalonians. immediately many of the brethren in thessalonica church started to claim that the second coming has already happened you see and therefore to correct them to correct their wrong views apostle paul gave them a sign saying if anybody tells about the lord second coming the first thing you need to observe is uh, whether the antichrist has come or not 
first the antichrist should come then only the days of uh, the lord's uh, return will happen therefore he wrote uh, the second letter to the thessalonians correcting their erroneous view okay so based on these scriptures only many people uh, think that antichrist will come you see he will come and rule for three and a half years huh? what did the verse say he will sit as god uh, you see in the temple of god uh, and uh, everybody will worship him it seems uh, you see the whole world huh? will worship him and where will he sit uh? he will sit in the temple of god where is the temple where was the temple located uh? you see it is located it was located in jerusalem it is destroyed now you see in that place today a mosque is been built so many people claim that uh, you see the antichrist will come he will destroy all these things and build a temple and uh, you see he will sit in the holy place of the temple and uh, claim everybody's worship the whole world will worship dear brethren the what the bible says about antichrist you see huh eh? many of the great leaders you see who lived in the days of ignorance you see could not achieve just uh, a percentage a few percentage of what is told in the scriptures about antichrist not even alexander great who conquered the whole world at age of 23 years not even by napoleon bonaparte or roman caesars dear brethren those people could not achieve it during the days of ignorance now how is it possible for a man to come and do all these things you see at this modern age it is a point to ponder upon and moreover you see to construct the temple at jerusalem during uh, the days of jesus itself took 46 years uh, that's what the bible clearly says uh, in john 220 then how is it possible that uh, you see the currently you see the mosque be destroyed and all come and build a temple and so that the entire world you see will pay homage to him entire world will worship him as god dear brethren Uh, will the jewish people allow them you see if somebody comes and builds a temple and in their temple if somebody is comes and sits as god will the jewish people will the israel people allow no brethren dear brethren they cast out jesus just for preaching the word of god inside the temple in luke 4 uh, chapter is given you see jesus was thrown out of the temple they all thought to kill him by casting him from the you see hill dear brethren and today there is a mosque you see the muslim have their worship there only they pray two times a day imagine ha huh? a man coming antichrist coming and destroying that mosque and in that place you see and that the place of doom of rock build a temple and a jewish temple and uh, go inside and sit and uh, claim as god and sit as god so that everybody will come and worship him as god is himself dear brethren is it possible but that's what the scripture says sir and moreover you see the uh, triple six huh triple six uh, uh, the seal of the antichrist uh, he will come and seal it on their uh, you see head uh, and their hand uh, therefore you see some people claim that this is the barcode huh in the barcode there are uh, three blank codes Uh, that uh, actually signifies the number 6 so 666 666 you see and some people claim that uh, oh it's a chip reader huh? the tracking chip reader so a small green like thing it will be inserted in your hand huh? so everything everybody has to take it uh, so this will come as a future law or as uh, they will implant it in your brain your head you see dear brain huh? and those who don't have this one uh, they won't be given the permission uh, you see to uh, what uh, to transact to buy or purchase anything in the market uh, so this is a must dear brethren how does it uh, matter for uh, satan if he 
by rice or doesn't buy rice what does it matter for the devil if you go and buy something for the market or if you don't buy from the market it's a worldly market does it bother him that if he go, go to a shop and if somebody doesn't give us anything or if you buy something does it bother him something dear brethren definitely not and moreover this 666 number is so famous in the world today that everybody let it be anybody any person any religion you take any person you take they know clearly that 666 is the number of the antichrist any number that comes in uh, 666 range nobody will buy it you see because it's very well known that the number is antichrist then uh, will somebody uh, if somebody comes and puts a 666 seal on their forehead will anybody take it uh, when somebody doesn't take a room or a plot or a mobile number with uh, or a vehicle number with uh, 666 will somebody take uh, you see yeah? uh, 666 on their head uh? if somebody uh, books a room and if the number is 666 nobody will go to the room why because that is guru or chanti christ you don't want the devil's room you see dear brethren huh? this is all the very great deception of the devil dear brethren huh? today what uh, uh, condition we are living uh? are we living in a holy condition are we living where the people have uh, fear on god and uh, they do they search god and worship god see what does apostle paul say read first timothy 4 chapter verses 1 2 and 3 first timothy 4 chapter verses 1 2 and 3 masam brother okay brother uh ഫോർട്ടിമോ Seriousing spirits and doctrines of devils. Aha. See, brother. Later days, the Holy Spirit clearly says the devil give heed to doctrines of devil. Seducing spirits, it seems. Huh? What spirit? Evil spirit. You see? Huh? In the later days, what will happen? It seems. Huh? Nobody will have faith. Huh? They will give here to You see, first doctrine it seems. Uh, read Second Thessalonians. You see, third chapter, verse one, two, three, four, brother. Second Thessalonians. Second Timothy, third chapter, one, two, three, four. Okay. This no. Uh, but then you are muted. Mm. Oh, sorry, brother. I'm mm. so sorry. Uh, this knows also that in the last days, previous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, mm. covetous, mm. boisterous, mm. proud, blasphemers. Hmm. disobeying disobedient hmm. to parents hmm. unthankful hmm. unholy Anoli. without net see later times what type of people will be there on this earth simsa will there be Anoli. godly people see full worldly people disobedient even to their parents blasphemous unthankful unholy continue now verse 3 4 5 hmm. without natural affection trick break breakers hmm. true breakers false accusers incontinent fires despairs of those that are good traitors hidi high minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god hmm. having a form of good godlessness but denying the power therefore from such turn away see brother It clearly says 
there shall be more lovers of pleasure than lovers of god huh? see brother in days what type of people will come they won't love god it seems they will have more love of pleasure enjoyment that is the condition today we living no respect for husband husband no respect for wife and the children so no respect for their parents and parents no concern for the children at all this is the condition what we are living today brother. in such a condition you see huh? can we imagine that uh, the whole world when they are not respecting god itself they don't have fear of god itself will they go to jerusalem and uh, worship a person who is sitting in the temple of jerusalem you see and uh, accept him as the one god is it possible no satan is very very cunning for dear brethren he knows very well how to deceive us he knows very cleverly to draw away from the real antichrist therefore to divert our mind from the real antichrist of what the bible says satan has made all this deception claiming uh, the person will come he will sit in temple rule for three and a half years put uh, seal on everybody's hand and head uh, will anybody take the seal uh? you will take uh? huh? ask your friends uh? unbelievers will somebody come and uh, put to triple six you will take a friend what they will tell hey, why will i take what i know it's a triple six yeah huh? you see that is the worst condition then we need to see who is this antichrist what does the bible say about this antichrist we need to study from the bible you see the word antichrist apostle give apostle paul tells uh, that the antichrist uh, he calls it with various names we read it in the, you see second thessalonians uh, second chapter no he calls it as a man of sin the son of perdition right uh, in verse 3 yeah and he also calls it a mystery of iniquity in verse 7 huh and verse 8 he calls as the wicked one you see these are the various names that is given for the antichrist let us read one more brother once more let us read the verses second thessalonians second chapter verses 3 to 8 please read brother 3 to 8 brother correct okay Okay, uh, it's written also. here. Mm -hmm. uh, from our exhort exhortation was not of deceit, not of uncleanness. Not second Thessalonians, twins. brother. Brother, second uh, okay, Thessalonians, brother. second uh, chapter. Sorry, sorry, brother. Okay, okay. no problem. Okay. Mm. Let no man deceive you by any means, mm. for that day shall not come except there came of falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of prediction ah you see what does he clearly say that day of lord shall not come if that day has to come when first uh, the man of sin the son of prediction has to be revealed now verse 7 brother ah huh? uh, directly 7 brother Mm. Okay. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who know, only he who now reach it will let until he be taken out of the way. You see, he says the mystery of iniquity. You see, he's already working secretly. It seems. Somebody is hindering, is hindering it, so it may come out. It seems so that hindrance will be taken out. It seems so. It is called the mystery of iniquity. You see, secretly working inside. Huh? Now read verse eight, brother. Huh? And then shall that wicked 
be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth mm. and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Very good. See, the wicked shall be revealed. The wicked one compared to the Antichrist itself is compared to the devil. You see, the Lord shall destroy him, it seems. Uh, okay. Okay. Has uh, Jesus ever mentioned about the Antichrist? Yes. Jesus also told about Antichrist when he told about the signs of his second coming. In Matthew 24, 15. Read there, Matthew 24, 15. Krishna, brother, you are there? Can you read Matthew 24, 15? Brother Krishna. Okay, Mosa, brother, please continue. Hmm. Okay, Matthew 24, verse 15, right? Mm. Uh, when you therefore shall see the ambition of dissolution spoken of by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place, who read it, let him understand. Mm, the abomination that make it desolate. You see, Jesus calls it the abomination that make it What is the meaning of abomination that make it desolate? You study all these things. So this Antichrist class is nearly a 8 to 9 hour class. So it will go on for nearly probably one month or two months. So without missing, you need to attend regularly. Okay? So don't okay. miss at any cost. I won't miss. Okay? So even if okay. I am asleep, I will come and take you in the sleep. Oh, brother, uh, uh, next next week I uh, I have my second semester uh, final exam. Okay. So it's starting from this Thursday. Okay. Uh, but I joined today. Uh, I think next week, I think it's quite dif difficult for me. Okay. After that one? Any other day? Uh, yeah. Any other exams again? No, no. Uh, exam will get over after next week. Uh, it will finish the exam. Mm. Okay. No problem. We'll wait. We'll wait for one week. No problem, brother. Okay. Uh, should I watch on YouTube or you continue or I watch on YouTube or you? No, we'll wait, wait uh, when everybody joins together. We'll wait for you also. Okay. So sorry for that, brother. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem, brother. So, uh, so these are the various titles that is given for the Antichrist. Now, before studying the Antichrist, we need to understand what is the meaning of that word Antichrist. Okay. Now tell me what is the meaning of the word Antichrist, brother? What do you understand by that word Antichrist? What does that word mean? Anti itself uh, is like uh, opposite of Christ. Good. So opposite of Christ. Uh, so who is the opposite of Christ? Who is against Christ? Obviously devil, the Satan. Devil, Satan. Okay. Among the people who are opposite to Christ? The who that doesn't follow Christ. Oh, okay. Who are they? Example. Uh, Antichrist means... Uh, who don't follow the Christ? Maybe, maybe uh, are they a Jewish? Hmm? No, no, no. Who, 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 maybe who? because they doesn't follow Christ. No. Who? Who? Jewish people. Jewish people. Okay. Good. Good. Good example. Then because they don't believe in Jesus. Okay. Good. Then any other people though don't believe in Jesus? Any other are there? Any other group are there? Mm. Next group. Nobody. Uh. Only Jewish people don't believe in Christ. Uh. Rest of the world. Other, world other, uh, huh? Rest of the world, they doesn't believe. No, the, uh. the one who doesn't practice Christianity, uh. they doesn't follow. Uh, very good. They you they tell me who are they? Correct. They are Abs all, all uh. the people. They are Muslim, Christian, uh, Muslim, uh. Uh, um, uh, more of a Catholic also. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Hinduism, the one who ah, followed Hinduism. Very good, very good, brother. So all these people, huh? So generally, Antichrist means what? Huh? You see, the one who is against Christ, uh, as you told, uh, Jews, uh, the Islam people, the Muslims, the heathens. You see, uh, those who practice anything against Christ, any religion you take, uh, hmm? except the uh, Christians, uh, they are all anti. Christ, because you're against Christ. Okay? Now, there is uh, other uh, way to think about this one also. Like, for example, uh, there is a word called as anti-nationalist. You must have heard. Correct, Anti-nationalist. 
Who is against the nation? Ah, who is against the nation? Nation. Which nation? Who is against? Who is against which nation? The nation. Hmm. Where he born? Very good. Absolutely correct, brother. The nation where he was born. If he is trying to do anything against that nation, that is called as anti-nationalist. Correct, no, brother? Correct, no? Yes. Well, see, example, you are a Nepali. Correct, no, brother? Yes, brother. If you are in Nepal, huh? secretly, if you are doing activities against the Nepal country, then what does it mean? It means... You are an anti-nationalist. Correct now? Yes. Uh, imagine if I am, uh, I am an Indian. If I work against my country, then what does it mean? Uh? I am an anti-nationalist. Uh. So, the real meaning of anti-nationalist is what? One who is of the same nation, but misusing that, uh, you see, that power and working against the same country, they are called as anti-nationalist. Similarly, in the Bible, when the word anti-Christ is used, it is not used for the heathen who don't believe in Christ, but it is used for those Christians who believe in Christ, but yet do against Christ. Clearly understand it. This applies to the Christians, the Christians who believe in Christ, but do things which are against Christ. This is the word anti-Christ means. Your brother, is it given in the Bible? Yes, it is given in the Bible. Read brother. First John, second chapter, 18 and 19 brother. Read brother. Mosam brother, read. Okay brother. Little children, it is the last time and as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists. Correct. What about what, brother? Read again. Even now there are many? Even now, even now are there many Antichrists. When? On that time also. On that time means Apostle Paul, Apostle John Spirit itself. What was there it seems? Uh? Still, uh, there was Antichrist, Antichrist among them. Uh, arre, then how can Antichrist come, destroy the temple in Jerusalem, build it again, and go and sit in the holy place and rule for three and a half years when he was already there during the days of Apostle? How is it possible for a man to live for more than 2,000 years? Is it practically possible, brother? No. Ah, therefore, we need to study the Antichrist from the Bible completely, detailedly. Then only we will understand who is Antichrist. Or else we will keep on waiting for some person who will come, who oh, will come, he will come, he will come, he will destroy the temple, he will sit as God. We need to wait forever and ever. What does Apostle John say? There are many Antichrist teams. This means that Antichrist is not a single person. Did he say there are many huh? single antichrist or did he say many antichrists? Many antichrists. Christ, that means plural. That means antichrist is not a single person. Okay. Now, who are these? How do we identify? Now continue, brother. There only Apostle John clearly tells who are those antichrist. Read with her. Huh? Wherever we know that in it is in the last time, they went out from us, but they were not of us. Are they? For if what brother? They went, they? Yeah, they went out from us. Huh? But that they were not of us. Yes, they were ones with opposite systems. Correct, no? They were with us, but they went out from us. 
that means they should have been with the apostles at some time correct brother yes brother they went out from us it seems now continue because they were not out of us then ha huh? but they went out then they might be made manifest that they were not all of us ha uh -huh. they went out from us because to manifest that all of us are not with us that means with the apostles you see ha huh? many brethren all the brethren were there but some people went out from them and this one apostle paul clearly tells to the elders uh, of uh, the church at ephesus when he was supposed to depart his last journey he calls all the elders and tells uh, about this great anti christ system read acts of the apostles chapter 20 take heed take heed therefore unto yourself and to all the flock over the which the holy ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of god which he hath purchased with his own blood for i know this that after my departing shall grips grievous wolves enter in among you not sparking the flock also of you one self self men arise speaking previous things preserves previous things to draw away discipline after them mm. therefore watch and remember that mm. by mm. the space of 3 years i cease not to warn every one night and day with tears ah see brother here clearly it says for i know at after my departure after the death of apostle he says who will come brother grievous wolf ha huh? where it will come it will come among you among the church people among the true christians who will come it seems brother grievous wolves wolf and uh, will they come like wolf no no uh, sheep clothing aha uh -huh. and uh, how do we identify this one how do we identify this uh, wolf it says they shall draw away the disciples after them how how do they draw the disciples after them speaking perverse things speaking wrong doctrines by teaching wrong doctrines these will take away the disciples of christ it seems therefore in first john you see apostle paul is actually speaking about anti christ only and he gives a clear explanation to us in fourth chapter verse 1 2 and 3 how to identify read brother let us read brother first john fourth chapter verse 1 2 and 3 brother beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirit whether they are of god because many false prophets are gone out of into the world mm. hereby know you the spirit of god mm. every spirit that confesses that jesus christ is come in the flesh is of god mm. and every spirit that confesses not that jesus christ is came in the flesh is not of god and this is that spirit of antichrist mm. whatever of you have heard that it should come and even now already is it in the world already it is in the world already defy believe not every spirit spirit means what sir doctrine yeah it is not the holy spirit yeah spirit means what we see we see the subject about uh, spirit soul yeah spirit means what doctrines 
That's the reason he tells, don't believe every spirit. You see, don't think that everything is of God's Holy Spirit. Because there are many false prophets preaching false doctrines. So, you need to test. Uh, therefore, uh, it says in same uh, 2.22, you see, this is the spirit of Antichrist. He that denies the father and the son. You see, you see, that is the spirit of Antichrist. Therefore, you see, this gives us so many clues. First thing, this verse clearly tells that Antichrist is not a single person. Because no person can live for 2000 years. Correct, no brother? Yeah. So, what is the meaning of this one? He is not a single person. But it's controlled by the anti-power, maybe. Yes. So how, how, like for example, see, we have studied about Christ, the seed of the woman. You remember many days before we studied yeah. the class, seed of the woman, Jesus Christ. Huh? So when we studied Jesus Christ, Jesus is the head. Who is the body? The church is the body. Correct, Course, brother? Yeah. yeah. Correct. So the Jesus Christ is compared to a human body where he himself is the head and we are all his body members. Similarly, this is called as Christ. Similarly, Antichrist means what? There is a head. There is body also. That means there is a supreme control and there are body members also. So, when we search for an Antichrist, we need to search for a corrupt religious system. That's what Apostle Paul says now. Huh? Many people will rise from yourself among you. They will teach false doctrines and draw away the disciples after them. They were not with the apostles. They were initially with them. But they went out. Why? Because they were not out of them. So when we search for Antichrist, this is the clue. Anti means what? Staying within the nation. Working against the nation. So Antichrist means what? Staying in Christianity. But working against Christianity. That is the reason Apostle Paul wrote this second letter to Thessalonians. Giving them the correct and a clear picture about the Antichrist. So, where should you come and sit? Let us read that verse, brother. Second Thessalonians 2.4, brother. Second Thessalonians 2.4. Hmm. Who opposed and exalt himself among all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Mm, who opposed, exalted himself above all that is God, are worshipped. He as a God seated in the temple. No, who is the temple of God? Uh, we ourselves. Church, we. So, where should the Antichrist come? Should he come into a little temple and sit there? Among Christians. That's what Apostle Paul said. 1 Corinthians 6 19. We are the temple of God. So, where will Satan come? He won't come to any temple. Which temple? Hindu temple, Muslim temple, nothing. Where will he come? Where should he come? He should come among the Christians. Preach among the Christians. Uh -huh. Correct, right, no, brother? How should you preach? Preach wrong things. Read 2 Thessalonians 2 3. Second Thessalonians 2 3. Hmm. Let not men deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come. Expect, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the okay. son of redemption. Ah, first, what should happen to him, sir? If Satan should come and preach in the church, what should happen to him, sir? First, uh, the church, the true church should fall from the truth. That is the meaning of falling away first. 
falling away first from where to where from the truth to false how will this happen that is what we read in acts 28 chapter you see huh? that i know this after my departing grievous wolves shall enter not sparing the flock among yourself shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away the disciples after them so they will come and preach the false doctrines and draw away the you see the real the true god children the false doctrines are in the identification for this uh, corrupt system now jesus mentioned about this false doctrines in two of his parables you must be remembering you studied in this initial classes the most holy faith you see jesus told about the parable of the mustard seed huh? he told on the yeah. parable of the mustard seed yeah, i have parable. i remember uh, matthew 13 chapter 31 and 32 mm. another proverb but he forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field which ended in the least of all seeds but when it is grown it is the greatest among hops and become a tree so that the bird of the year came and lost in the branches thereof. Mm. See? He sowed the seed, which is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it began to grow, it began to grow in such a way that uh, uh, it developed and became great. Then all of uh, the herbs and became a tree, it seems. Now, the mustard, is it a herb or a tree, brother? Does it grow to be a plant or a tree? It's a hog, brother. Oh, okay. so, so what is the meaning of this one? We know it's a parable. We know that the Son of Man is Jesus Christ. And the mustard seed represents the faith. Jesus said, if you have the faith as mustard seed, you can move the mountains. So it's a faith. The faith of Christianity. Jesus sowed into the earth. But its intention was that it should be small. A herb, you see. A plant. But what happened? It became a great tree, it seems. That means what? It is an abnormal growth. Jesus never intended the church to be a very big, great organization in the world. You know, today the world's greatest and the highest, of, you see, most of the collections happens where? Not in Tirupati. It happens in Vatican City. The world's yeah. highest collection even today happens in, you know, Vatican City. Eh? Did Jesus build uh, thousands of rooms with gold? Uh? With granite marble. What does Jesus say? The birds of the air have a nest. Huh? The foxes have holes. The son of man has no place to lay his head. That was the simplicity of Christ. But today the Christianity has become so big that in its branches, branches they tell them, oh, we have a branch where? We have a branch in this area, one branch in that area, one branch in that area. Oh, branches, good, good. That's what Jesus said. Branches of false doctrines. In all these branches, who is coming and sitting? Birds. What do you mean by birds? Birds of the air. Who is the prince of the power of air? Satan. Very good, brother. It is his agents. Jesus said in the parable of the sower, no? Huh? On the way, as it was sowing, what happened? It fell down the wayside. Who came and picked it up? The birds of the air. The birds of the air. Jesus said, Satan. Satan has come and entered the churches. You see? Read. Revelation 18 to brother. Hmm. Brother, I'll read from the uh, screen. Brother. Oh, please, please, please. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen and is become the habit habitation of devils and the food hold of every Fall spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. A cage of every unclean, hateful bird. You see, the become cage of evil spirits, devil. You see, now you might wonder, brother, who oh, can devil come and preach in the church, brother? See, Bible, what does Bible say? Read First Timothy, fourth chapter, one, two, and three, brother. Huh? Furthermore, then we beseech you 
Brethren and export exhort you by the Lord Jesus. No, 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 no. Brother, one minute. Please read from the yeah. Bible. I think this is the wrong uh, thing. One minute. Okay, brother. I will go from my Bible, okay? Yeah. Just please. a moment. Uh, First Thessalonians, uh, Timothy, right, brother? Yes. First Timothy 4, 1 to 3. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brother. I got it. Yeah. 4, 1 to 3. Hmm. Now the Spirit speak it expressly that in the later times some shall depart from the faith giving head to suiciding spirit and doctrines of devils ah, speaking what brother doctrines of devils no if the doctrine has to be spoken by the devil where should the devil come and speak obviously doctrine is of on the pulpit no on the pulpit, you can't preach in a temple, Hindu temple, where Christians won't go. So how will it affect the Christians, sir? That means Satan should come inside the church itself. Yeah. Uh, they it. only speak false doctrine. Doctrine. Uh, now continue, brother. Uh, can Satan Speaking... come inside the church? Some people, uh, yeah, brother, how can Satan come, brother? Satan is bound in the <laughs> church. How will he come inside? Keep your hand like this only. We'll come back. Revelation 2. Okay. Revelation 2. Verse uh, 13. Mm. Revelation 2.13, right, brother? Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. In Revelation 2.13, it's written here. I know thy works in where the Dualist, even where Satan sit is where, where? Endo. where, where? Who where sit Satan is there? sit? No, see, brother, inside the church, Satan has come and sat, put his seat. The birds have made a nest in the branches. See, now read what is the first doctrine which Satan, you see, preaches. Come to First Timothy, you see, fourth chapter, verse 3. Mm. First Timothy four chapter verse three, right? Mm -hmm. uh, forbidding to marry mm -hmm. and commanding to absorption from maids, which God has created to be received from received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Uh -huh. First false doctrine is to not to marry. Now should a Christian marry or not? Oh, yeah. Can we marry or yeah, not? Mm, we can marry. We can marry. We can also yeah. not marry. But is it compulsory yeah. that we should not marry? Uh, that's not compulsory. It's not ah. written in Bible. You, you must not marry. It's not written yeah. in Bible. But here yeah, it says Satan will come and preach doctrines We tell that uh, you should not marry. Right now, see the verse four: huh? forbidding to marry and forbidding to eat meat. Now you tell me, mm -hmm. okay, bishop, we can marry, we can marry. Okay, what about bishop? Yeah, bishop and many. Uh, uh, bishop can marry or not? Everybody can marry, brother. Everybody can marry. Read First Timothy three two, brother. Okay. Mm. First Timothy Abisof, three, three, one three, two. Ah, uh. a bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. Are they? How's the husband yeah. of how many wife brother? Only one wife. That means bishop can marry, yeah. but he should be having how many wife? Uh? Only a wife. Only one. That means bishop can marry. So how can you put a, you see, commandment saying you should never marry? This is the false doctrine and. Uh, you see, when do the Christians don't eat meat? You eat meat every day? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I haven't fast on meat. Okay. Now, when do the Christians fast on meat? You know? I don't know. I don't know that as well. <laughs> You're a very good Christian. <laughs> you see, <laughs> usually on Fridays, they don't eat. Because, oh, good Friday, oh, Jesus, Friday, Friday, we should do not touch meat. Huh? You see? And some people... 
they don't even eat meat on lent days the fast days fasting no huh? mm. these are all the doctrines of the devil uh huh now who preaches this one this is preaching in hindu temple uh, muslim mosque uh. it is among the christians only read one more parable matthew 13 33 mm. another parable speak he unto them the kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened aha uh-huh. a woman took a leaven and put it in a three measures of flour until everything was leavened leaven in the bible means what uh? you see it puts uh, it gives what that uh, what do you say uh, it spoils the food you see you, like a yeast yeah you put a yeah. little bit of uh, leaven or yeast for the you see flour it will swell yeah. itself uh, it will spoil uh. so similarly nobody puts uh, you see usually the leaven for the food uh. so jesus compared the leaven to false doctrine in the bible matthew 16 11 he told beware yeah. of the leaven of the pharisees and sadducees so means false doctrine so what happened the church had three important doctrines brother love hope and faith love on the god supreme love on the god then hope if you suffer now we are going to reign with christ faith faith only on the bible the little bit of false doctrine came all these things got corrupted love upon god went off nobody is coming to the church because of love only because of fear you if i don't come god will punish me then hope hope went off today also enjoy in christ today rejoice in christ tomorrow also after that you will go to heaven and rejoice in christ huh today you do all the sinful activities here drink smoke all this bad habits and all you do after death we will go to heaven and do the same thing except what heaven is a corrupt place where is the hope that we need to suffer for christ deny yourself carry the cross follow jesus where is the hope no hope at all no none of the churches preach this one at all why if you preach nobody will come hope went off faith faith on the bible today the faith on the bible is not that it is upon men upon the pastors upon so many people than on the bible bible got corrupted okay so this is how this is the great anti caste system began to work slowly okay we'll stop here so next week we will continue how other things all happen how this development happen we'll continue and see in the next class okay brother